Number 1. The film is based on a graphic novel by Alan Moore and David Lloyd. Number 2. The story is set in an alternate future where a fascist government has taken over Britain. Number 3. The title character, V, wears a Guy Fox mask to hide his identity. Number 4. Hugo Weaving, who played V, never actually appeared on set wearing the mask. Instead, a stuntman played the role on set, and Weaving recorded his lines in a studio. Number 5. Natalie Portman's head was shaved on screen for her role as Evie. Number 6. The film's director, James McTeague, previously worked as an assistant director on the Matrix trilogy. Number 7. The film was released on November 5th, which is also Guy Fox Day in the UK. Number 8. The V for Vendetta mask has become a symbol of protest and resistance around the world. Number 9. The film's opening shot is a tribute to Orson Welles' Touch of Evil. Number 10. The film's score was composed by Dario Marianelli, who won an Oscar for his work on Atonement. Number 11. The film's tagline, People should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people, has become an iconic phrase in popular culture. Number 12. The film was banned in Malaysia due to its political themes. Number 13. John Hurt, who played the High Chancellor in the film, previously played the main character in the film adaptation of George Orwell's 1984. Number 14. The film's depiction of a corrupt government and a citizen-led uprising has drawn comparisons to the Arab Spring and other political movements. Number 15. The film was shot on location in Berlin, Germany. Number 16. The film's final scene was shot at the Palace of Westminster, which is home to the UK's parliament. Number 17. The film's script was written by the Wachowskis, who created the Matrix trilogy. Number 18. The film's climax features a recreation of the gunpowder plot of 1605, in which Guy Fox and other conspirators attempted to blow up the Houses of Parliament. Number 19. The film's visual effects were created by the company Moving Picture Company MPC, which also worked on the Harry Potter and Pirates of the Caribbean films. Number 20. The film's theme of government surveillance and control has become even more relevant in the years since its release. Number 21. The film's final line, Beneath this mask there is more than flesh. Beneath this mask there is an idea, Mr. Creedy, and ideas are bulletproof, has become one of the film's most famous quotes. Number 22. The film's budget was $54 million, and it went on to gross over $132 million worldwide. Number 23. The film has been praised for its themes of political resistance and individual freedom.